Hello everybody, this is Maria with Desert Cloud Soapworks and today I'm going to be showing you how to make lotion bars, the hard lotion bars. And I'm doing it the simple way. The hard way from scratch is for another video. This is the simple way. And that's basically by just starting with your base. Now the fragrance and the pigment I'm going to be using for this is sponsored by Sentimental Gifts. You guys got to check them out. The link is in the description of the video. Uh, this base right here I got at a local store. And what I'm going to need is a glass container. And scoop some of this out. Because we're going to be making some lotion bars. And lotion bars are always great. That way you don't have to deal with a bottle of liquid hand lotion. You just grab your bar and it works just the same. You want to melt this down like you would with melt and pour soap. You don't want to overcook this. You got to make sure it doesn't boil over. So the same way you do with melt and pour soap, you do with this. Here's the base. It's all melted down and you got to be very careful with this because this is very hot. All right. Yeah, I mean it if you've ever poured accidentally poured hot melt and pour on yourself before then imagine this pouring on you would probably be at least 10 times worse okay fragrance we are using today is just a basic vanilla and this vanilla oh god look how clear that is that's one thing i love about this place that uh, sentimental gifts usually vanilla has a, a deeper color, a more richer color. Not this one, it's pretty pretty darn clear and it smells great. So I'm going to go ahead and add some fragrance here. About one and a half. That's good enough. Next we're going to add the pigment. I got this right here. This is Gold Mica. And this is also from Sentimental Gifts. They do carry micas. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. You cannot use liquid soap color in lotion bars. For this anyways because it does not um, mix well with the, uh, the mix here. This mix is got shea and cocoa butter in it. So... That's pretty cool. I want a really nice, rich looking bar. I'm going to put two, two spoonfuls in here. These are just little spoons. But a little bit of mica goes a very long way. And we got to mix that up. Oh, that's beautiful. That looks great. Now you really got to make sure you thoroughly mix the mica so you don't have any chunks of mica or anything like that in there. Alright, once you've got your your mix all done. That's what we're just going to pour it into the mold so it can set up. I'll just set this aside. And I got a really cool little mold here. These are perfect for hand size with little flowers. It's that simple. Do not spray rubbing alcohol on this afterwards. There's no need to. Okay, now that it, they're all poured, just wait for it to set up like you would with melted pour soap, and then you'll have yourself a wonderful lotion bar. So I'll go ahead and pull those out as soon as they're done. Let's pop these out. I already popped one out prior. Give it a try. And these come out absolutely awesome from that. It's awesome lotion, dude. It smells amazing, absolutely amazing. And that's how easy it is to make the lotion bars using the base. In time I'll make a video about how to do it from scratch but for right now this is the super easy way to do it and I let my mom try one of them and she absolutely loves it. Alright well that's the end of the video and if you want to check out sentimentalgifts.com the link to them is in the description of the video just head on over there and if uh, you order anything from them, just tell them that D Maria from Desert Cloud Soapworks sent you. You can either put my name in the reference code or uh, when you place your order, there's comments on the bottom. You can just put my name in there. That way they know that you were referred to, their, to them by me. All right, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.